Welcome to Accelerate Pedals. I'll be your guide to testing the 2006 through 2010 metal Chevy Impala and the 2009 through 2012 classic Chevy Impala. This is the power supply. It takes three AA batteries. Line them up like this. Use some copper wires at the edges and attach the positive and negative wires at the ends. Verify that you have about four and a half volts coming out. That is close enough for testing to the five volt system in your car. For the 2006 and 2009 potentiometers, they need to be set at both 20 volts like this and like this. The plug should also be facing you like this. The positive for the uh, Impala should be connected to the first pin on the multimeter and on the battery. And then the negatives should connect up to the negative on the battery here on the second pin and the uh, third pin should also connect to the negative on the multimeter like this. On the 06 Impala, the plug will be facing towards you like this. The positive from the battery and the multimeter will connect to the third pin. The negative from the battery would We'll be connecting to the uh, plug, plug second pin, and the negative from the multimeter should connect to the posit to the uh, first pin like that. After you do that, they should at least read about 3.0 volts in the idle position, and as you press it down, it should read about 2.4 volts. As you are pressing these down, you should be checking for both spikes and glitches. The second pin geometer. You're going to, it still should be set at 20 volts like this for both of these. The positive from the 09 should connect to the fourth pin for the battery and the multimeter. Then the fifth pin should connect to the negative for the battery and the multimeter should connect for the negative to the last bottom pin, the sixth pin. Then for the 06 Impala, the positives for the multimeter and the battery should connect up to the, po to the last pin or the sixth pin like this. The negative from the battery should connect to the fifth pin, like this, and the middle third of the bottom should connect to the negative like this. After you do that, it should be reading about 2.3 volts in idle position, and when fully pressed down, be about 0 0.8 volts. And make sure to check for spikes and glitches during these tests. So in this example, you can see that we are pressing down on it slowly and letting it rise up. And it looks like that this is not having any problems. It doesn't have any glitches or spikes. If your pedal has a spike or glitch, time to replace it. Our website shows when we have them in stock. We ship them from Ohio and we'll send it out right away. Check out the pinned comment and in the description for the link to our website. Thank you and have a good day.